Sire, Omurungi Kento, Wemba Chikusaka, Levika, Lidol, and Talita. Ni we mwe 
kodiro nuaga manire kodiro o mana o muka kodiro o mana wa ito kodiro sini wule ma kodiro ganja ni zange kodiro apuli we vale Ai ai timboine si 
Navaru Garevsengo, Navaru Garu Gutu, Motavaru Ken Konga, Amona Mavale. Bageni mweva lo kuja mutabaru kengonge hamuna mavale. Abaru gabu nyanga bu na baru gaka se se mutabaru kengonge hamuna mavale. Bagenyi mueva lo kuija mutavaru ken konge ma vale Bageni mueva lo kuija mutavaru ken konge hamuna mavale. Bageni mueva lo kuija mutavaru ken konge hamuna mavale. ken konge hamuna mavale. Arubengo Culture Troop ni mbasaba mkonyere da kikemu. Arubengo Culture Troop ni mbasaba mkonyere da kikemu. Kusobole kuranga binu. Mdaki kasadi zahara kutamba na simba hanu. Kandi tuija kutandika na binu. Ni heja kubawa anthems. Ni heja kubawa hekizina ekihanga. Kongereho echa East Africa. Kongereho echa ukama. Kandi sito mruhanga. Bishop Abote Reuben Kisembo atuwebembele omkusaba. Ikecho bukirahwa agutamba na ija kurambura emidara yona enyakulihan. Kandi amalire na guli omudara ogwebio bomezi hawa kugema kwa COVID-19 hamu na cylinders za oxygen ezi kuija kuba ni kabwa handa hakeho hali health centers ezi munezimu. Na abweki, ntubasaba, ngu, akasumi yako bukarahika, tuwe na tutekane, tuli hachoto, hampango. Omugurusi, akaha, ikitekelezo na gamba, ngu mkoro gunu, guijaga kuhisiriza, empango. Atenye chichigambo, wito na rebotombu time, chia kijuka, kagambo kwa mkoro mkoro yuko urumaho. Atenye akatugamba, hampango ngu, Omukoro kwa hachioto hampango nukujaga kuhisiriza empango. Kandi mukama ni chikahabuke hampango ya mwaka guru kuhija mananuko tuhisirize. Tuhisirize kuo. Numurora haba harubengo culture troop kuhisirize omukoro gunu. Kwekitini sa mkuiku wevale munu. Omuringo kwe mbaganiza ntushima wekitini sa kantu joa nadieri. Hona mberoli mukama kusesele migisa yese merire kuseselua. Habu yetekaniza zinuzone zoko zile. Nabo bona bo kuatanize nabo. Nsima magato agarukira basaija. Nsima abamasaza. Nsima all the partners that have joined Toro Kingdom in making this function a success. And most importantly, talent. Someone finish that. Africa. Well done, Wanda Ali and your team. Uh, to all our exhibitors, as soon as the king gets here, we will have the anthems. We will have prayer, which will be led by our Lord, the Bishop of Renzori Diocese, Bishop Reuben Semba Moti. And then His Majesty will inspect the stalls as a backup on every stall. And thereafter, we'll have the final stall, and that is the vaccination stall of the COVID-19 activity, which has also taken place today. And that is one of the most important things that we should all say. Life 
is very important for all of us. Na weki, inyue na banyakule hanu, mtubasaba, wakasumi yako bukarahika, abutamba akasimba hanu, nga, nuko kirukusana, umbukizi, buamuchwa, Nisabi tuwe na kutekana, akutamba, asimbiro mkikaro cheitu kinu e chorukura torukuru, wabukama wakatoro. Ochisangire nzaire, tulibawa akutamba, tulibawa kasura vanyunya, tulinawa msakazi atana ganjura, tulibawa mkuma mfuzi. nzaire. Gorovi akutamba. Gorovi omwebingwa. Gorovi omkumafuzi. Gorovi omsakazi atanaganjura. Gorovi omkumafuzi. Gorovi omara. Gorovi entali akaruzika. Gorovi enzaire. Gorovi omwisakika. Gorovi akutamba. Gorovi omwebingwa. Gorovi enzaire. Gorovi omwebingwa. Ochisangi la kutamba. Tulibawa Tuliba wamara. Goro. Goro kienzaire. Goro kwa kutamba. Kabo neko muwebi ingwa. Kabo neki gurulie. Kabo neko muisa kika. Goro kienzaire. Goro vyo muwebi ingwa. Tulibawa wenzaire. Tulibawa wa mwisa kika. Tulibawa wa msakazi atana ganjura. Gorobi wenzaire. Gorobi wa mkuma mfuzi. Gorobi wa wamara. Otusangira kutamu. Otusangira wenzaire. Tulibawa wa wamara. Tulibawa wa kutamu. Tulibawa wa wamara. Tuliba awe kituli kitu nobe rabim. Tuliba awe nzai. Tuliba awe mwebi yungu. Tuliba awe ama. Gorobi ya nzai. Gorobi ya mwebi yungu. Gorobi ya kituli kitu nobe rabim. Tuliba awe ama. Otsangiri nzai. Otsangiri msakazi ya tanaganjuri. Hamsango mwebi yungu. Mubie magutam. Mubie mwumkuma mfuzi. Koku nsangiri mba manyisize. Na kutamba wa ramara kusinga hanu, tuija kutandika na ansems. Mubie mwemwebi ingwa. Omsakazi ya tanaganjura.
ואז ואז אקסאבה בוא נקסיא עמוק 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 Kima ya wona kwenye sente, nevire, minister, wana kuku gara, kukisi imera. Kana wana imu kanya kujia kujia sababu, kujia kujia kukima, wakua kukia na msinge. Kwa imu kama sehayo, na imu kama kujia mkuma yawa, imu kama kujia kujia porwa. Kujia 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 kuj Wadu wala imkani kwa kwa mkwala gunu Mwanesha ni kwa mkwala gunu Kwa 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 mkwala gunu Mwana mkwala gunu kwa kukimera Kwa 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 mkwala gunu 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 Kwa 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 Kali chona, kama wana kuzi hanu, 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 kama wana kuzi hanu. Singa kutamba, singa mwebiyo, hawa wa kutamba. Gorobi ya nzai, gorobi ya mwebiyo, gorobi ya kituli kinu wa barabemi, gorobi ya wamani, gorobi ya nzai, gorobi ya mwebiyo, gorobi ya msakazi ya tanaganjo, tulivawe nzai. Agutamba Mpailwe listi Yabantu urundi ya bitongole Kwa tanize na mkama kwa toro Kandi vya sobora Kororo mkoro gunu Kwa hakioto Hampango Nuguba guobu singuzi Kwa mnya kuinga inahano Tuina UNDP Motwa Kwa mkama kwa toro Talent Africa Nile Breweries UTB Ua, Uwek, Toro Heritage, Brack, Movit, Plascon, Capital FM, Ultimate Sports, Uganda Lodges. Chaninga, Hamu na Queen Mother Foundation. Tuina KRC, Tuina Nyaika Hotel, Tuina Pet and Tree, Tuina NBS TV, National Forest Authority, Microfinance Support Center, Limited, hanyuma tuina nebitongole vya makuru ebya munuka. Viona viva ireho kusagika omukoro gunu kuba guembaganiza kandio guekitinisa ekinge inahanu. Agutamba hagati omulitwe taka genzele kurambura emidara atuinaho UTB board chairman representative director Eddie Kiria Alhanu, tuina Uganda Wildlife Authority Deputy Executive Director, umyoro Masaba Stephen, tulinawe, tuina na abagenya abagire Buganda, a chairman Buganda Tourism Board, oweki Benio Nintambi, Alhanu, na Director Farouk Busulwa, tulinawe Hanu, kuruga Bunyoro, mukama wa Bunyoro, tuina Minister wa Tourism, oweki Ruamparo Apollo, hamu no wake Abdu Kasagama Prince na watu linawa hanu. Tuina kurugu wa government ya hagati, wakitinisa ona rebotombu time, minister wa tourism, mga government ya Uganda, tuina UNDP resident representative, high excellence else atafua abwoli. Na watu linawa hanu. Isito Muruhanga, Bishop Reo Ben Ksemba Amot, tulinawe. Hanyuma mkitini Sechi Amani, tuina mjuera nyino mkama, akiki Best Kemigisa, tuina mjuera nyino mkama, Owempeka, akiki Patrick Kawamara, agutamba abamasaza, Balhan. Amagato agarukira abaseja, Balhan. Tuina na right honorable speaker Gorobi Enzaide Of the tourism city Gorobi Omuevi Ingwa Mukuru Habat na watulina wahan Nebindi ndasangwa ni mbiranga Mukasumi ya karaba kasobokere Akutamba tuina emidara yukurambura Kandi ugokumari rayo 
nugo ugo kugema COVID-19. Akutamba nyikiriza kumanyiso mbutongole, uwekitini sa vyeyeza, hamuna uwekitini sa mugahi, umuhikirwa, deputy umuhikirwa, uwekubanza, no wakabiri, akutamba. Uwaragiro mulimo baka gukora kurungi. Kandi ni mtuwaro mugisa gunu kumanyisa, nguwa batu nguwa bawe, umuranga, baguanu kui, abantu barukira hobi kumipina, bagemeru wa agutamba kiro kiro. Gorobi agutamba, gorobi omwebi yungu wa mteri mungale zamani, tuluba wa zaidi, tuluba wa mada. Igato wa yungu brambuzi wa mbukama wa atoro, na bandi haba kwa tanize na iwe, mbukano wa kasumi, kukurambuzi agutamba, yemidara, yabo, haba nyakulekele, ubusagiki wabo, hamkoro gunu, ugu etioto, Hampango. Tuliba wa mara. Tuliba wa nzaire. Tuliba wa mkuma mfuzi. Tuliba wa igururiera. This will be the direction towards the inspection of the stalls. Goroke nzaire. Goroko mwebi. Goroko mwebi yungwa. Goroka kutamba. Aha. Gorobi yenzaire. Gorobi yomwebi yungwa. Gorobi yagutam. Gorobi yomsakaze atana ganjor. executive we're here to exhibit the 10 national parks but we're mainly focusing on all the beauty that is in Toro Kingdom I think you visited today Kibale National Park and yesterday Kisemiliki so you're most welcome to check out all the other national parks especially the mountain gorillas in Mugahinga and Bwindi and also to climb Mount Renzori and also to visit uh, Queen Elizabeth National Park the Medley of Wonders you're welcome Your Majesty, you're most welcome to Mugamba Farm. This is a farm based in um, Kabaroli district. It deals in coffee and we are doing all the whole valued addition of coffee and we have honey and we employ a big number of people here. The farm is about 300 acres and uh, it's doing an amazing job. So we do the whole value chain. So you can, you can enjoy one of the best coffees here in case you want it. And we are supplying most of, most of the hotels here have this coffee. Thank you. Are you packaging from here? Is this package from here? Uh, you're most welcome, Your Majesty. This is Movit Products Limited, the number one manufacturer of uh, cosmetics in Uganda and Africa. We are showcasing our products today, and uh, we have the hair and skincare products, especially fronting our new and our baby Movit Family Soap, which actually was launched yesterday, and we are really excited for you to be here, and we are also excited to be part of this exhibition. Thank you very much. Mkira basaija, this company abele netra ininga abaisiki abatai abato nsinganto kukoli soke. And they've done that course this time. You're welcome.
welcome your majesty my name is jimmy moses Otim. this is brack uganda this is a showcasing the project that uh, brack is implementing through the support of uh, undp supporting 7500 youth so in this uh, function brack is supporting the business clinic sessions that are ongoing we are glad to be part of uh, this wonderful function thank you This is Kogera Foundation Uganda. Eno ni Kogera Foundation Uganda. Ivarari yangu ni mani taka waganda gatsho ni ukoranga museum chureta. Tangiri ya kwa kutamba. Ni mbali sortoro hapo kumbantu tukuza orodi meruwei tu nebi upango wei tu atoro. Guno nguo ebtsovo ira kuleka. Tuleva wenzi. Agutamba tu inahali tu inomgamba tu inomgamba. Agut. Agutamba ibara mbanya tava semera alis kogero kubanzo watoro. Ntukutangira, nkakogira Foundation Uganda, kandi, agutamba, ituwe tukuza, evi obuhangwa, nukubirinda, mkitongo leche itu. Nichiwa kurora, bulikintu chua na ikirikano, kirikintu ya kawicha. Tuwaba, ntukusaba, agutamba, ikisirize, tukuteru uri. Tukuteru. Kitabu kini kiongea kibagara Nukiru nko kukukisana Kitabu wakiru wangi muno Kukulinda Wakiru kutango Kutanga Kutaba wangu kumaka Kumsaita ni mkazi Kumwana vya mirahansan Kutamba Kutamba Kumgole Uwaira Yikaraga yusuwe kiriri Kumgole Agutamba han halone nasiso nvasoburo halofirinda halohutuzi halohembaze yete yekuiragura halohamaba agutamba ba nvagenda kuswere yebendeza amara gaitu agenzara hani yoko gera foundation agutamba ni yoko rabiona ebiemirwa ya. Abakazi and Singanto, Nava Sage, Abataina Mirim, Kasanga, Tolo Garali, Nayana Piamba, Abakazi Valving, Babanavana Super Mago, so to a tram to a Tandika, Ectongolekin, Turkole Viengaro, Turke Vivo, Utkole Quanz, to a guest, Nancy Gantes, Taina Mirim, Nazo Zita, Koragana Nazo, Nutun, 
Kampala na hiyo. Kuna branch ya Kampala za Tolo Garland. So ebi bantu bi hamba kazi abombiaro kurora na watu nga kasienta bokuyamba no kuisa hamba kaga kandi bakazi bengi bagoboroira habwa Tolo Garland. Hangiriza mu that we get in clothes instead of throwing these clothes away and they don't rot very fast we decided to make flower pots in them and we have this watch the watch you can give us a sticker of the picture that you want then we stick it in then we make a wall clock then another thing we have we have t-shirts t-shirts to promote tourism city like this is the example of the t-shirt that we have and we would like to give you this t-shirt your majesty thank you so much for being on this function Majesty, my name is Mutavazi Joffrey Amoti. I am the founder of Charge Core Technologies, a project supported by UNDP. We have developed a number of technologies to uh, make the tourism experience in Port Porto uh, more seamless, uh, centering, hello, centering around energy uh, for tourism. So we've developed a solar backpack, uh, which uh, tourists can use to charge their phones as they hike. We've also developed uh, a, a car seat organizer, so when you're in the car, you don't need to reach out to charge your phone in front. Sit, and your phone will be fully charged with the uh, inbuilt app. We've also developed uh, a, a range of batteries, uh, and one of the batteries is uh, for people that are hiking. Um, for this? This? So this is a battery that you can use to charge your phone while you go uh, gorilla tracking. Uh, and these are going to be rented out to tourists. Uh, also on top of that, these are for people hiking the mountains. It's a six day trip and they need to charge their devices and everything. So we are providing these and charging stations for tourism destinations. Your Majesty, we've also developed the best, I believe, charging uh, power bank, mobile charging power bank that we would like to offer you, depending on the phone you own. So we have uh, iPhone type C or Android. Uh, so we would like, we would be uh, glad uh, for you to have one. Thank you so much. So a solar backpack, backpack was for 500, and this is locally made. We only designed uh, the panel here and manufactured it abroad. Initially, we're designing here, but we intend to manufacture uh, everything locally, yes. The batteries go for 900,000 shillings, but they are only provided to tour uh, locations, and tourists do rent them out to uh, uh, to go with uh, when they're hiking. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you're most welcome at Richard Hand Uganda. It's a youth focused organization. And as well, we are really proud that uh, you're the part of the Icon Awards initiative that we launched in March. And uh, the assignment you gave us, Your Majesty, uh, we were able to. 
about fulfill it through the youth ministry uh, with the minister of uh, youth toro kingdom and so far we have launched a program in toro kingdom and you're training over 60 young people as we speak at uh, fort view hotel that are going to be working in the region for the whole year uh, so these are just our annual reports and also the work that you've been doing and the team and most of the team are busy training our young people in this in this region you're most welcome Greetings, Your Majesty. I am Fatima, and we run Umbelini. We host arts, crafts, and wellness classes and workshops, and we also make artisan soap from fruits and vegetables that around the Fort Portal region. We were motivated to make soap because of uh, the excess of waste for fruits and vegetables. When they all come into season, we have rotting avocados, rotting passion fruits, and we had to find a solution to use them. So our first product that we've made is handmade soap, and we're developing other products made in Fort Portal. That's a little bit about our soap. For our arts, crafts, and wellness workshops, we run workshops in Kampala, and we're hoping to expand to Fort Portal. This is the motherland, and it's very dear to me to have something based in Fort Portal that promotes zero waste and encourages people to look more to the natural way of, of living. So what we're doing mostly now is working with different artisans to get uh, pottery, and then we buy the pottery from them, and then we get people to paint. So we have different painting events that run monthly, as I mentioned earlier, and our hope is to expand to teaching schools and to training the youth to understand more the value of what we have on our land and on our soil. So we are Umbilini, and I also have a gift for you, Your Majesty. This is some of our soap that we make, and I hope you like it. We have chocolate, passion fruit, orange. My husband does say that it, it looks edible, and that is our goal, to keep it natural and to the roots. Thank you very much for having us here. Your Majesty, welcome to the Tourism House. This is the United Tourism Board with the associations in the tourism industry. Um, UTB, we are mandated to, to promote destination Uganda and reach the tourism industry of Uganda. And we are key sponsors for this event and we are excited and honored to partner with the Kingdom to organize this cultural event. Thank you. Majesty, I'm so proud to receive you. We've been together for the last two days. Now you've reached the Tourism Services Hub. This is Uganda Safari Guide Association. We train people uh, both in culture, butterflies, birds, like we've always been hearing about this. We also train women, young women in business. Uh, maybe you can hear from them. Your Majesty, you're welcome to our table. My name is Adrian Nakunda. As uh, women in tourism, we have uh, biggest appreciations to UNDP for supporting us. We are now fully involved in the tourism business and we can be able to provide our fam for our families. Thank you very much. Okay, this one for the young brothers. Your Majesty, you're most welcome here. I'm one of the Uganda Guys Association. And we are the leading club of women brothers in the whole world. The most welcome. So now given the book, uh, this photograph in particular, we took it from uh, Kivare Forest. It's one of those top five birds that when people come in this area, they can find it. It just nests at the entrance where we passed this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, this one is in Karuguto, of course. You know that place very well. Uh, near Toroko there. It's uh, one of those, actually the number one. Africa. You have it? Okay, you'll tell us. 
Tunda. Uh, everybody in the world who wants to come to Uganda, they come to look for this. We can only find it in Toroko, Mabamba, um, Lake Choga area, and Machuan Falls. Thank you. Uh, His Majesty, you're welcome to our table. I'm called the Bombarda Enoch, who is uh, working as the Chief Guide Renzor Trekking Services. And uh, it's a company that operates on uh, the Renzor Mountains. There is two companies that operates there. We have uh, one that goes along uh, Muvuku Valley and then for us, for the trekking services, we are located uh, on the Kerembe side, which is uh, uh, an hour drive or less from Kasese town. Uh, so uh, we decided to develop uh, a company along the Kerembe Valley because we saw that uh, we have uh, so many brothers and sisters with no jobs. So we thought of uh, if we can develop a new trail, there people can start uh, getting jobs. We have uh, over 600 people that are working with us, and uh, this has really helped a lot the community to start harvesting money to support their families. So around the table here, we, we do a lot of treks, starting from uh, one day to eight days and above, depending to the peaks that you, you climb. Yeah, so on the table, these are some of the gears that we, we provide for the customers for the self-trekking up to the highest peak, Margarita, which stands at uh, 5,109 meters above sea level. So we request that at one time, come and also share the experience with us. Thank you so much. Your Majesty, I'm Christine Kahunde. I'm working with Insurance Company of East Africa. We are here teaching the community on how to save and secure the future. We are teaching the community on how to save school fees uh, and money for investment so as in future to avoid problems like having loans because we have had people are getting loans due to unprogrammed businesses. So, Your Majesty, we are here selling some policies. We are teaching the community on how to save for school fees and investment. Thank you so much. Your Royal Highness, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, we appreciate you coming. My name is Amumpele Bismarck Moses. I'm a travel and nature journalist working with NBS TV. Royal Highness, this is the Pet a Tree Initiative. Pet a Tree Initiative is a campaign, a tree planting campaign, working with other partners, a Rotary Club and National Forest Authority. With Pet a Tree, we are saying we need, we need to stop planting trees and we start growing trees, Royal Highness. We are saying that everyone should own a tree, give it a name, celebrate its birthday, remember the time when you have planted that tree, celebrate its birthday, give it manure, and make sure that that tree grows, Your Royal Highness. The Peta tree connects well with the pet names of Doro, the Empaco. We are happy to let you know, Your Royal Highness, that this is our first engagement, community engagement, coming here in Toro. We feel very special that we are beginning here and everyone who is planting a tree, we started a campaign of planting trees during this festival and we have planted over 2,000 trees and we are going to make sure that before the festival ends, 
we have 3,000 trees planted in this campaign. Your Royal Highness, we have a technological aspect of the PETA tree. We have a, an app coming up, the PETA tree app. It is an app that is going to work on both the App Store and Google Play. We are saying that everywhere you plant a tree, it can connect your GPS system. It can always give you remembrance. You remember when you planted that tree, it gives you all the updates that you need. And this kind of uh, an app is able to help you when you take a picture of a certain leaf, like this one, Ugandesis, Wabugia Ugandesis. It will tell you the details of this tree, how long it takes to grow. And so far now, people, everyone who comes in this festival, they plant a tree before they can get a mpako. It's a pleasure, Your Royal Highness. Thank you. curriculum which is the first open source curriculum in Africa for tourism and hospitality. We majorly focus on training people in tourism and hospitality to be an all-round and this curriculum focuses on training a person to be practical when it comes to working in a hotel and a lodge. We use more visuals in this curriculum, role plays and uh, we do attach our students to different hotels and lodges that we do partner with. So majorly, we focus on equipping someone with the right skills and knowledge than telling someone this is what you're supposed to do. It is all about lecturing in class, but we focus on more uh, producing someone who will practically do what they are supposed to do. Looking at Fort Porto being a tourism city, we are seeing a lot of hotels coming up, but who is going to work in there? So that is why Ukarim is here, to produce a person that will produce or give that practical uh, skilling and uh, knowledge when it comes to hospitality. Thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. Your Majesty, welcome to the Minister of Water and Environment stall. I'm Dr. Guma Brian Emmanuel, the team leader. The Minister of Water and Environment uh, delineated the country into water management zones. We have Albert, we have uh, Upper Nile, we have Choga, and we have Victoria. Ampanga lies within Albert, where waters start from Waise up to uh, Weramule, and then from Nyoya up to Chisoro. So all those waters follow into Lake Albert. As the Ministry of Water and Environment went ahead and uh, developed what we call catchment management plans, that is stakeholder-driven document, whereby solutions locally are derived uh, from the people. And through that, we have been able to carry out implementation within Nyaktokoli, where the river Mpanga originates from in the Renzoris. We have had soil and water conservation techniques. And through that, we have ably uh, reduced the siltation, but not uh, so much. It's uh, a gradual process, we believe, and with all the concerted efforts, we should be able to stop the siltation of river Mpanga. Uh, Your Majesty, uh, through the Ministry of Water and Environment, we have been carrying out uh, the Uganda Water and Environment Week in Mpanga annually, and through this, it shows whereby you have the late Kateba, who was heavily involved in uh, the restoration of the catchment. Uh, Your Majesty, uh, this next year, we have innovatively uh, decided to organize the Save River Mpanga Marathon, whereby we shall cre create awareness across the globe, across the country, so that people can run for the river. We are Mpanga, I'm Mpanga, and everyone is Mpanga. Thank you very much. Your most welcome. I'm Liahinda Matthias, coming from Busongora County Joint Cooperative Farmers 
uh, uh, we are giving coffee experience direct from the farm to the cup. And there, uh, we are showing smart agricultural practices in the farm. Then from there, we pick the red cherries, uh, we dry them. After drying uh, the red cherries, then we pound using a mortar, a wooden mortar. After that, we grind local, we roast locally the coffee. After, grind, after roasting the coffee, then we grind locally on a traditional grinding stone. Then from there, uh, from there, after grinding, then uh, we prepare coffee using a French press, uh, just getting a powder from the grinding stone. We put it here. After putting it here, we wait like three seconds and prepare a cup of coffee. Uh, people have been saying that maybe coffee is being used to the outside countries. I like to tell the world that coffee can be used, can be, can be prepared by us, the locals, and have a cup of coffee. Thank you. And I too, thank you very much. And there, we, we, we pack the coffee under the brand name Ruenzori Snow Peaks Coffee. Thank you, thank you very much. Long live. Long live your majesty, the King of Toro. Most welcome to Nyaika Hotel. We are proud to inform you that Nyaika Hotel was named after the third King of Toro. And we are proud to tell you that we are happy and grateful of Toro Kingdom. I'm showcasing Nyaika Hotel and I'm showcasing the services we offer at Nyaika Hotel. Here we have a demonstration of one of our room categories. We have seven categories in total, and a total of 64 rooms at Nyaika Hotel. Behind you, Your Majesty, we have a setup of buffet. That is a setup for a couple. If you come at Nyaika Hotel, you will be embraced with such a setup. And our outlets, just like I said before, they were named after the third king of Toro. Some of our outlets have Toro names. To mention it, it's Sazi Bar and Grill. This is where people gather and have the very best of their time at Nyaika Hotel. Nguli Restaurant, this is an indoor restaurant where we have our meals going on. Furthermore, I would like to tell you that Nyaika Hotel is located three kilometers from Fort Porto Tourism City and Nyaika Avenue, Boma Hill. Furthermore, we have more outlets or we have more services. We have conference halls, we have gardens, we have a health club, and we have more of bars, of which is Saziba and Grill is mentioned. We are proud to inform you, Your Majesty, that very soon we shall be having a suit named after you. Thank you so much. Long live Your Majesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your Majesty, we welcome you. Our company is called Hotel Technologies. We are based in Fort Porto. And one of the things that we do best is... Then we are in a bomb. We are demonstrating in a hurry so that we can't go to the hotel. We are going to go to the hotel. We are going to the family. We are going to the individual. We are going to go to the hotel. We are going to go to the hotel. Na agroforestry and Mutoro region. Calling to inovgali, obokpangi so obokwa izire, no pangi saka galikau, no siva no vuga, no no rambrato, e ni kiotoro ha. 
Angel Zagta. Agutamba, exeka kini chiona, kisa zaliawe, eri akitagwenda. Bale serebitu yawo vingi muna agutamba, kandi ovatiro maranga, baka tandikeraho kukora bulichimu chiona, kukora nubasagika obukamavu awe, nubasagika obukamavu awo, kani nubasagika isa zaliawo, eri akitagwenda, agutamba. Leka vega ambire, hawa kuwa wa inevintu vingi, evyo evakozele. Your Highness, you are welcome. This is Chitagwenda, sub count, Chitagwenda County. It's a very old Chitagwenda. Little guitar, much be in a chimney. Chet Chitagwenda entrepreneurs network. Of to our little Maranga Guawe, Ogoque Tungura, Naitwe, Trion to a Tungura, Nit causes a wind to be to be between a Maka Gate. Okan Kirahanu, Your Highness, and it called a wine. Eno wai nini tujukora mbitoke, ena nansi, nobutunda, evi tukwe edimira. Okutanda kaho, concept eno kujidivoropinga, evi toke vijitu, sometimes vya avraga katare, espesaro bhava oge chidubo. So we decided to add value by making wine. And currently, this organization called Mutiz is employing so many youths. Kandisaide eno, eno sub- to Agamba, many families so sovora kwa affording a kugula sabundi a sentenying. To Agamba cut and co program yoktende kabantu makagabo, or kora sabuni, nuke chibanguire at the family level, brigome kwa affording a kubana sabun. Uh, Your Highness HH Kongerao, Nebio Kuria, Evitu Kora, Omovi to be to Yahaka, kind of Yokuria Genya Mesua, Hamene. Na birds, poultry and animal feeders. Nitu bukora mbintu vitu vya abura ijo. Nye, tutu kuna gabi subikutu. Nitu vya anika. Of course, na baka dozitu at one time, nitu bura katare. So we decided kuzukora mwe vya okuria. Na chine chisunsa, nitu churuma naturale, back home, tutamura maize bran, tukore vya okuria, vya kugabura, vya sorobitu, nye nkoko zaitu. them to have enough time to sit home and do something that they can sell and get money from it. This is what you are witnessing. And next, I beg to hand over to my colleague, Magezi Omutuawe Aksoborebi. We very much. Angeleza Agutamba. Agutamba Egi Yagutwe Mbere nabo bati nsezaga kora imyanya yabo banywage kyokunywa ikikorwa mu banana juice and sogam and ebinu banyine nkuritwe bacombiraga aho buro muno bacombira mugo mukubi and kenu kyali kigiko cyo mukubi nka nkinyamokera muno eginse kuro bahondera muga muhogo oburo Babuti kaho babusa vihamu yesano nuko wasovora kuihamu chokuli kanda hano ni neka hakuli ya ni neka ya ikaraga ho yali raga muno muno harume chokunywa ketoonto kanda kano bati kamu gama hizo goko na ba mungaro kanda muno bati kamu gani kwenye nini na sasa na zirumu kanda muno bati kamu akaro kanda hizi ensale. Zari zavanda zokunywa obsera. Kandi hartu ina sekadz. Sekadz ez ni kavazubu gango mutoro region. Noho zirukusangwa obondi na bugindi. Kukora rangu ntozi simba makagai toro nde mende merozi tukogira nguzangu hezikani 
abokoba kiri kintu kiri medisa ino nondi ya sobora kukisera hananka uh, ya masumu haho sika disease peritazi CY CY D D D D I think U sabera kimu obukama tukipromoti inge kipe kintu chobora ambuzi Abo kubo mura kirora ni kitamba endo hile nyingi. Angerizo mwebi yungwa, angerizo ntale ya toro. Angerizo agutamba ntale ya toro. Tuwa kutangira hamdara kwa itu hanu mka komunati. Ama baragange ni nyokanya sige Christine. Itu wa ntuongera omutindo habintu vya itu ebituina. Kira muno tukatuina na nasi. Nyingi muno hanu tizine kio kukora. Vizini nizunda nivazinaga. Itu wa tuatekeleza na nasi nusinga. Ntuzikora mwe kintukindi. Tikisobora kutunda. Tuatandika. Tuakore na nasi. Ntuzihamu zamu. Eyoksiga hamigate, bogoya, ntuzikora mnazo jamu, eyoksiga hamigate, munu butunda waitu obu abulikiro, nenanasi ntubitavura ntuihamu jamu, ege ya abulikiro. Enu, ni yonka kamorale yaitu, baitito ntugiongera homutindo, ntuihamu kana akatsupa, eyomuto asobora kulia, ake gwenda zaho, atalire ere ya limu, mberia ya abulikiro, ndumurofomu. Enu ni yonka ketchup, ruwe ni tomato sauce. Ntu yukora mwere njini, tituku wangera maizi, tituku teka mbine vya preservatives, we are health sensitive, tituku teka mkantu kona. Ntu yukora nko kubiri, and we are UNBA certified, tulahanu bomba, fort potron, hotuli, na kukin, hangiriza, agutamba. Tuleserewa na banda warayenda kutestinga ho, mgate guroho, Kamralo wakuenda kuriaho, eroho, ketchup, na kazina kavazinire. Njagara ketchup, ito we have modernized ketchup. And we are satisfied. Ekintu chone chokuri ya kirungi. Welcome, Your Highness. Hello. Um, welcome, Your Highness. This is Ndeje University. We come all the way from Muluelo to bring Ndeje University. We have come on a mission of the Glasgow domestication. We have brought the chapter of climate protection to Toro Kingdom, and we have been privileged to be the institution that has established the HOTO that you are going to launch this evening. And we are here to pledge that as Ndeje University, we are offering to build a similar kitchen into the palace so that we can now preserve the environment of Toro, which is a commitment that we bring to you. Uh, this is the charcoal that is made out of the ordinary materials around our households. Um, it is called briquettes, you have met it, and it is what we want the palace and we want Toro Kingdom to embrace for the empowerment of environment, for the empowerment of women, for the empowerment of the youth. So on this particular visit, we have trained 20 ambassadors of Toro Kingdom that are going to spread this knowledge to your people. But we have also established the Choto, which will always remind you and your officials of the importance of preserving our environments using the resources that we have within our community. Talking about the environment, uh, we are also promoting entrepreneurship for our university students. We are making things that have been formally imported to domesticate them back home. We are extracting these 
perfume from the natural resources around us. We are making the Vaseline from the resources from within our society. And it's very, very nice, Mama. The next time you come to Ndeje, we are going to leave a pack for you to share with your people in the palace, to smear and also to give them knowledge that these are things that we can do to make our communities better, to preserve the economy. This soap is also a miracle soap that deals with the problems of girl child, more especially at schools and also within homes to address the small challenges of UTIs. So this is the machinery, uh, Your Highness, that is locally fabricated, that produces these briquettes. Our engineering students from the university in their final year, they must make a machinery that addresses the needs of the community. So this is a university project for the students. So we get all these local materials, this is where we get the charcoal that we use. This is what we use to make the charcoal. This is the replica of the charcoal we are talking about. And when we go to the Choto, you will see how it works. No smoke, which is healthy and no side hustle on part of women who are the food bearers of our societies. Thank you, Your Highness. Please and visit us one time in Ndeje University. We'll be very grateful. It's a gift for me. Someone can have it. God bless your highness.
just did, and uh, began good food for our capital. Yeah, I still want to continue to claim carbon on the various stations. That's why this country does a lot of work in the field within our body. It also helps to design our body to be integral of that product. Here yeah, we will also continue to promote energy and clean cooking. You know, we have a lot of issues of deforestation in this country. So in order to curb that problem, we have the energy cooking stove, your majesty. You can have a look at it. So that is so uh, it has a solar down there, that solar panel. That solar panel is meant to charge, is meant to charge this stove. This stove has an inbuilt fan that helps to blow the air inside here, oxygen air. It also has an inbuilt battery that helps to maintain the power that is obtained from the battery. This stove here. It, it uses carbonated and the non-carbonated chocolate. This is the non-carbonated, but this one is not very good because it burns very fast, but also produces a lot of milk. So this one will be the ideal. Uh, this, is, this is a briquette that is made out of bio-waste. You can name some bio products like it. The maize soap, the maize soap, and uh, uh, maize shell, and others, together with the bean hearted. So those are some of the products that we do. Those are some of the activities that we do. Also, as Kerala too, our local research and research center, we have a radio where we sensitize masses and different activities. I think Patra can take us through the radio issue. Majesty, I care as CFM, the family of the days. We do political programs, but we also do cultural programs. We have education, we have health, we also have children's programs. We let the children tell their own stories. And in this festive season, Majesty, we, uh, we have a Christmas program in where we're feeding back to the community and we are letting our listeners advertise and make sure they are giving us the air for five exposures a day. We are giving them a the hand of the air. And I think that is what I feel that we are going to be sure. We want to get to the end of the day. Yes, you have to see a t-shirt to you from our radio station and from our manager to the QK. Um, you're most welcome, Our Majesty. We are coming from Kansai plus Corn Paint. We are located on 2nd Street, Australia, Kampala. Kansai, we deal in a lot of paint. As you can see, we have a new, our new product. It is called Coat A Smooth Finish. It is a coat that you put on the bricks then you put our paint on. We deal in many colors of paint. As you can see, we have weather guard, super growth, fast dry, van silk, and we have van mat. We deal in a lot of uh, paint. We also have these plus cone arc textures that deal on the walls. So we are most grateful to be here in Fort Potro in your Kalakas land. We are humbled because we are coming from Kampala. So we are handing over this gift to you from Plus Kwon, Kalayo World. We also have a promotion that is running of our edition, the 10th edition, Colors of Celebration 2021. 
you just buy a paint of a hundred thousand, then you win yourself a scratch card. You scratch it, you send on 7197, you start to win a lot of prizes, you start to win one million per day, then you start to win a bike. We color your house. That's a weekly draw. Thank you very much. Then I'd like you to sign in our visitor's book. I think we're going across. This is a part of Nile Brewery, so this is the... No one see, just the social. No harkubaza, no harkubaza. You're welcome. Most welcome, Your Highness. Uh, this is um, uh, Nile Breweries Limited, uh, the biggest beer company in Uganda, uh, by volume and market share. Uh, we thank you for very much for the great leadership uh, in the kingdom. Uh, so these are our brands. Um, Null Special is our flagship brand, and it blends well with the Toro Kingdom because uh, when tourists come to Uganda, they know Null Special. So we tag along um, Toro Kingdom. Uh, but um, outside this, behind you there, is where we're doing immunization. All of us here know that the biggest enemy we have now is COVID-19. And we're saying, play your part. Get vaccinated. So, and a vaccination exercise. We also donated um, sometime last month uh, 20 gas cylinders. Just because we care about our customers and we believe in having a better world. The only better world we can have is the healthy population. We thank you. You must welcome Your Highness. We are a pleasure to have you again at uh, our way at. This is uh, partly of our works. Yeah, uh, we have first part of our works, and uh, they're all we, we featured on two painting, and uh, they are all basically exhibiting on two. Being Fort Porto is a tourism city, and uh, I think all these animals that are around here, uh, they are all around our region. Uh, partly of even the works that are around, they're even uh, describing up onto the social life that we live in around. Uh, like, like a person who is uh, riding a bicycle, riding Matoke to the town centers. The same business that still happens up around. Uh, we, have the, the, uh, we have the elephants, we have the Rhino. rhinos, we have the laufords. Uh We have uh, the big lands. Yeah, the birds. Uh, we have the ngeye. This is part of uh, one of the one of the one of the animals that we even uh, still have, uh, as well as the neighboring uh, districts here in Kamwenge. Uh, we have uh, the chimpanzees. No, as, 
go yeah, gorillas, sorry. Yeah, and we have, uh, <laughs> we have the, uh, the monkeys. Yeah, that's the, the red, red columns. Yeah, the red columns. Thank you. Uh, we have still again uh, uh, a painting depicting all the music instruments and uh, the dancing, how it has been showcased up around there. So the sound and uh, uh, with the, 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 the drummers and uh, instrumentalists showcasing up here. And uh, this is partly of uh, how we always display up our works when we are painting up. That one, okay. That one, huh? Yes. I want that one. Yeah. I want this one. Okay. This one as well? Okay. This one. All right. Thank you very much. Lubawa Mutamba Gorobio Mwebingwa Hawa Wenzai Mucho team in charge Jole Banura, Sister Mainuka Olive, Sister Viona Yamkama Esther, Sister Flores Bonavana, Sister Mbabazi Betty, Sister Alice Komhimbo, na Sister Bamuhiga Teti. Abo Nubaba Vaide, Aba team a Yamucho. Kandi, we have been the team leader Mucho Hele Seta 3 and the vaccine, uh, vaccination coordinator. Our Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital, Bebembiro Director Regional Referral Hospital, Omukuru Dr. Alex Adaku, to now Sister Kaba Kondere Margaret, Sister Kemigisa Florence, Sister Kembabazi Maureen, Sister Kanyinyuzi Joylin, Kahuma Arnold, Mohenda Stephen, Ogwa Yeta Ichumu, Asingwire Betty, Okrut Stephen, Nabi Arohanga David. Kavarole District Health Team to be in Kahirwa Anna, Assistant DHO, Sembo Brian, uh, Acting, Acting DHO, Anima Twina and Kemgabo Catherine, Ogu District Health Educator, Anima Habapoto City Health Team, 
Tubaire na Rukindo Margaret Immunization Focal Person Kabahenda Anet Ama baragaba wei pagutamba Baga hadi ikire mbiti nise bugumange Ile kinu ni nchuguruka mkama wangi Haroho wakasatu uh, Nwe omu mhenda Stephen Acting District Health Educator uh, Wei pagutamba Ubutubaire tukora omulimo Gwokugema COVID-19 Hamurango guatire Tukwatanize na ba MTN Nke bitongole, bitongole kima ha bitongole vindi Bitera nize Amukoro gwe choto hampangu Ni saba team ya MTN irehei hanu wangu Can I see the MTN team step forward please Very fast in the interest of time Kandi agutamba omulingo gwe mbaganiza Ni tuwaro mkisa gunu kuongera kusimo Wektinisa basaliza Henry Mutegek Wektu wektinisa basaliza Henry Mutegek Ni kusavo yemere hona horaboli Ntukusima muno habo kunyuaniru kama No kurora ngu kwa tanize na MTN Kurora tuwa koro umulimo Kukiriza kuragira kwa agutamba Agutamba haba MTN Baine visembo baru kusaba Oikirize babi hichie ombabone gao Way to PPS Ingira will take charge of this Ni saba the team to step forward As you present the gifts to the king Ulebawa moti Gorobi ya nzaire Gorobi ya mkuma mfuzi. Gorobi ya msakazi ya tanaga njura. Ulivawe mazi ya karuziku. Hakutamba wa MTN. Bako zero mlimo mkoto. Bako atanize na itwe. Hakugema. Omukazi you kneel down. The woman you kneel down. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Then you walk backwards. Minding where you walk. Backwards. Ok, hawa nubaba MTN, hawa tukwata nisa na hawa. Nisaba tutere mungaro, ba doktor na hawa nasi, hawa gemere COVID-19. Tui nembazo ngufu, urubazo rukubanza, nuruo urukuruga, mwa ha excellence, abuoli, Omwebe mbezi wa UNDP. I think for now, Ortoro wegera wole. Hi, Excellency. Uh, Abuoli, uh, you are giving us the first speech. Gorobi ya nzaire. Gorobi ya mutamu. Kennel retired from Butime, the Minister of State for Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, honorable members of parliament present today, the local council, five chairmen, the Lord Mayor, officials of the government of Uganda, officials of the Toro Kingdom, distinguished guests, all protocols observed. On behalf of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and indeed, our larger United Nations family, I'm delighted to be here in Port Porto, Cabarole District, to partake in the inaugural Kyoto Hainpango Cultural Spe Festival. Allow me to extend a warm welcome to every one of you to the land of Empaco and the home of the spectacular sunsets, the snow-capped Renzori Mountains, Nakasura Falls, pristine Crater Lakes, breathtaking sceneries, rich cultural heritage, and the most nutritious dishes of Oburu, millet bread, pirinda, and enjaga, enjagi. I hope I pronounced it right. Gorobi ya kutamba. Gorobi ya muwebi ingwa. Gorobi ya msakazi ya tanaganjur. I'm still learning as an bully. My most sincere gratitude to you, His Majesty Oyonyimba, the Queen Mother, 
and the members of the royal family for inviting and for inviting and graciously hosting me and my team and giving me yet another opportunity to marvel at the jagged rainforest, picturesque undulating hills, verdant slopes, extensive miles of tea plantations, and astonishing olive bamboos in the Chibale National Park. And I must say today, I join His Majesty, the Honorable Minister, and other dignitaries to see the chimpanzees. Mwe baleku intagira. Your Majesty, Honorable Minister, culture and tourism are powerful global economic engines employing thousands, and we saw some today, supporting millions of livelihoods, and we saw some today, and fostering sustainable economic progress. Throughout the past decade, statistics and operational activities have underscored can be powerful drivers for development with community-wide social, economic, and environmental impacts. The role of these two industries has, however, remained marginalized in development agendas and is now threatened by the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, the pandemic has provided an opportunity to re-examine and to reimagine our socioeconomic priorities including the role of culture in building a strong and more resilient industries, promoting equality, inclusion, and social cohesion. In recognition of the importance of tourism and culture in achieving the Agenda 2063 objectives of African integration, inclusive and sustainable economic growth and development, the African Union declared the year 2021 as the AU Year of the Arts culture and heritage, levers for building the Africa we want, and by extension, the Uganda we want. A clarion call to tap into Africa's rich natural resource and diverse cultural heritage for Africa's growth and transformation. In this regard, UNDP has partnered with the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, private sector, cultural institutions, academia, uh, and, and we are implementing a two million rapid financing facility designed to catalyze actions to mitigate the social economic impact of the pandemic on businesses, jobs, livelihoods, especially amongst youth and women. Together we have co-created integrated and localized solutions that enable youth, women-owned micro, small and medium enterprises to recover from the impact of COVID-19 and promote innovation as a catalyst for inclusive growth and transformation. And when we went around the exhibition today, Your Majesty, we saw those innovations among women and among the youth of Uganda. Some of these, some of these solutions include harnessing nature and digital technology to diversify Uganda's tourism product offering offerings whilst broadening community participation in the tourism value chain. As such, UNDP is pleased to have been your partner of choice in the effort to curate the Kyoto Hampango, a cultural festival and vision to showcase the kingdom's rich history and cultural heritage. Exhibits innovations that emanate from the region market businesses and investment opportunities in the region and provide a platform to engage in conversations. And we had those conversations yesterday and even now on the integration of culture in the conception, measurement, and practice of development with a view to advancing inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development. A Kyoto Hampang also features business clinics targeting the youth women and small businesses owners in Toro. And we've been holding business clinics these past days. The business clinics are designed to strengthen the existing entrepreneurship ecosystem and equip enterprises and young entrepreneurs with knowledge, skills, and tools to build profitable, sustainable, and scalable businesses that address today's social and economic challenges. Your Majesty, Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, UNDP in Uganda has also partnered 
with enterprising women and youth across the country to harness culture, nature, and digital technology to stimulate recovery, build resilience, and tackle biodiversity loss and climate change. For example, together with Chachko Technologies, and I'm sure many of you have seen them here, a youth-owned Ugandan startup energy solutions provider, we have developed and successfully piloted homegrown renewable energy solutions for the tourism industry that will be unveiled by His Majesty this afternoon. UNDP has supported Chachko to scale up its innovation and network of solar-powered charging stations in various tourism destinations and informal workplaces in Uganda. This is curated to facilitate experiential tourism whilst providing an income source for youth, youth who will hold the franchises for the stations. Culinary tourism is increasingly shaping visitors' decision-making and holiday experience in addition to providing significant social, cultural, and economic benefits. A significant component of Uganda's culinary tourism is the Rolex, and we all know the Rolex, a tourism experience largely offered by youthful street food vendors. The enterprise contributes to the livelihoods of many young people in urban areas. However, the safety of the foods is often a cause for concern because the environment in which they operate is usually unhygienic, leading to contamination. Together with our partners, we have developed the Rolex Preneur, and I'm sure you are seeing that booth over there, a, skilling, a skills training program to equip over 500 street food vendors in the districts of Kabarole, Kasese, Budimbujo, Intoroko, Kenjojo, Chegegwa, Bunyangabu, Kamwenge, and the cities of Fort Porto and Kampala with essential skills and tools for hygienic food production, food safety standards, and entrepreneurship. I'm pleased to announce that the Ministry, Toro Kingdom, and UNDP will today hand over eco-friendly mobile food carts to 18 young people that had sell during the Renzori Rolex Preneur training series. In addition to that, we have done many things this year. I think whilst COVID has been very negative, we also have seen positive impacts. Together with BRAC, we have supported 7,500 young people in different skills, and some of them are here today. With the National Association for Student Entrepreneurs, NASI, and I can see NASI at the back over there, we called for proposal for ideas. We called Youth Ideathon. We had 4,800 ideas from wonderful Ugandans, and we are say, we're glad to say thousands of them we are able to support moving forward. With Jumia, we have partnered to bring over 3,000 farmers online for the first time, selling their potatoes, selling their matoki, selling their peppers, and this is very innovative. We are also supporting the creative industry. We launched a call for proposal, and we have over 700 people who responded that we are going to be able to support. And I can go on and on, but all I'm saying is that the time is now to promote culture and tourism together because we have a wonderful country and we can be able to move that agenda forward. Your Majesty, Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, allow me to mention that development experience also shows that no country, no country has ever achieved rapid economic growth and prosperity without trading with other countries. This year, for the first time in the history of Africa, African countries came together and signed off and launched the first ever African continental free trade area, popularly called AFCTA. And what does it mean for us? African countries trade amongst themselves only 16.6%, which means that your brothers and, and, and sisters in Ghana, Nigeria, and other places in the region may not even know what we are doing here. What am I trying to say? Tourism is one of those things that we can trade in. It's trading services that somebody in Ghana, somebody in Nigeria, somebody in Senegal, somebody in Botswana can come to our beautiful country and savvy what we have. And I think that this would, in many ways, help grow Uganda's industry, leading to more and better jobs, social inclusion, and transformation. Your Majesty, as I conclude, a number of these ideas that have been birthed, including the Kyoto Hampango, would not have been done without very energetic, innovative young men and women who work with me 
in UNDP. And today I want to, sh I want to share the light. I want to share the light and I want to invite my colleagues today as I conclude my speech to join me here because they have day and night dreamt about this, day and night partnered with your kingdom, day and night partnered with the ministry. And I want to invite Innocent, Nicholas, Lorna, Victor, Anthony, Elav, Joel, Dale, Stewart, Basilio, and many other of my colleagues who are watching us online today. I want to say that together we have co-created this with the people of Toro, the Renzori area, and the ministry. And as they come, and as I share the lights with them in conclusion, I want to say that we together pledge UNDP's continued support to the people of Uganda in broadening economic participation and community beneficiation, where all can equitably and sustainably enjoy the country's rich, natural, cultural heritage, and, and so many other things that the beautiful pearl of Africa, Uganda, our beautiful country offers. We thank you, and we wish us all happy Ekyoto Haimpango festivities, Mwebale Kutanjira. Thank you very much. So this is the UNDP team and many others who have been behind this and many of the things that we do to support the people of Uganda. Thank you very Guru much. Kutamba. Gorobio Mwevingwa. Gorobio Mwevingwa. Gorobio Msakazi Atanaganjura. Tutero Mungale Zabwoli Onu. Abwa UNDP. Emienda ya toro agutamba asakiro murungereza no murutoro kilahaliwe kurora ni nkambere watungo mwanya kuba hakioto hampango. Agutamba hagati omulitwe. Tuina... RDC, Wakabarode District, Akiki Nyinabarongo, Julian. Uh, Hagati Omulitwe, Tuina Deputy RCC, Apuli Festus Vandeva. Hagati Omulitwe, Tuina Murungi Mary Vasaliza, Administrator Wavirika Hospital. Nao tulinawa han. Urubazi urukuongeraho, Nuruo Ruaonarebo Tomo Butime, Minister of Tourism, Government ya Hagati. Wait to attain. Daire. Gorobio Mwevi Yungwa. Gorobio Msakazi Atana Ganjura. Gorobio Wamar. Ole Mere Hagutamba. Your Majesty. Oyo Nyimba. Kawamba Iguru. Urkiri Wakana. Within the uh, Ambassador of United Nations of Uganda, Awoli, Omioka, Omikirwa, Watoro, Awoli, Nyakake, Amagatwa, Gomkama, Gomkama, Yengawa is in your Kurugire. I hear you come over at Toro. Wait a visit from Kurugunu. Amagatu Agona Gomkama. Aba Masaza, Aba Nyoro Inuena Gomkama. Heads of ministries, departments, and agencies. Bagins Wangi Inuena and Yakuzi Ramkurugunu. Ladies and gentlemen. Nabo are we Savonka Emil Moyabo private sector. Kuanza Ningoza Kusima in Tekanize Nungi Muneti Eo Mukoro Gunu O Mutoro Gunu Mwevale Muno Nimbasima Mwevale Kutekaniza Kan Mwevale Kuija Kubaho Borobian Zaire. Gorobio Mwevi Ngwa. Nyenkienu Mkoko Mmanyire. Tumirege na Rukirabasaijo Mkama. Mkivale National Park. Rukirabasaijo na itwe. Turubasirege Mkivira. Tuarambule Kivire Ekyo Nebukuya. 
Allow me first to extend warm greetings to His Majesty the King and thank him for accepting to come and officially open the Kyoto Hambango 2021. On behalf of the entire tourism sector and our partners, we welcome this initiative and look forward to many more events guided by your vision and passion for tourism and the people. As we celebrated the coronation anniversary in September this year, the Kyoto Hampango event was announced and launched. I wish to thank the organizers for the efforts in making this event a success in promoting conservation and development of our nature and cultural attraction. Toro Kingdom is blessed with an assemblage of strong tourist attractions, good weather, a hospitable environment, and people. This festival is designed to showcase the best of the region and empower the communities to tap into the power of the tourist movement. This event was deliberately toned down because of the unprecedented impact caused by COVID-19 on our way of life and the tourism industry in general. Our people have been affected by the pandemic and we join your majesty in consoling those that have lost lives in this kingdom. I also wish to reiterate the call to our people to continue observing the standard operating procedures and seeking early treatment and the vaccination as we fight the COVID-19 pandemic because better times are in the horizon. Government has been proactive in the fight against this pandemic and protecting life, but equally sensitized in supporting the livelihoods that have been affected by the pandemic. Your Majesty, I'm glad to report that my ministry, the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, and its agency, together with the partners, most especially the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, has designed programs to boost the tourism industry in this region. Tourism has become a truly global social economic phenomenon whose potential not yet fully realized in our region here. Before the pandemic, one billion tourists traveled abroad in addition to estimated six billion domestic travels worldwide. In terms of gross economic power, the tourism sector is in the same category as oil, energy, finance, and agriculture. At least one in 10 people around the world 
He is employed by the travel and hospitality industry. In Uganda, immigration statistics record 1.6 million travelers in 2019. And we are steadily recovering and growing this market as the world reopens. And as you know, Your Majesty, on the 1st of January 2022, Uganda will be full blast, open. Everything will begin. We therefore recognize the power of tourism in transforming people's livelihood and promoting inclusive growth in our communities. Tourism attracts and distributes income up to the most vulnerable communities. It promotes investment leading to jobs and tourism conserves and conserves the environment. These development aspirations are dear to your heart and the people of Toro. The challenge of reigniting tourism after the pandemic and the promoting a competitive tourism industry in this region and the country at large requires proactive action and policies that capitalize on the natural endowment that we have. Your Majesty, the cultural attractions of Toro have been globally recognized in terms of a rich history, the music, the food, the art, and the kingdom, and the people. The Kyoto Hampango rides on love for adventure and cultural immersion and treat the visitors to the famed hospitality of Toro. Tusaho Ekikaro Ekitangira Abantu Karekitavatarbanizi Ikikaro ikinyakuri friendly. Namberu munto rukuija o katekana o kikarana na avanti. Ikirukira toro hano. Gorobi yenzaire. Gorobi yomwevi ingwa. This event will feature adventure and sports tourism events including fun run on Saturday, a boat reporting regatta and cycling, trail traversing the best features of the region. Yesterday, we commenced on a royal tour, the visitors to the best of Toro, and used the evening as an opportunity to learn. Ijo tukatungo mkisa, tuavunga sempaya, tukrava saija tukava tulinawe, tourism. The Nyaika Hotel Policy Dialogue. And we also discuss the future of Fort Porto City. And there is no doubt that the future is bright. At this juncture, therefore, allow me to extend our thanks to the United to you to the UNDP for catalyzing incubating Tande kaho, kuteka muamani, kusagika, ukubatuhairi, umukokora, umukoro gunu, nebe vindi viona, nebe kuija kukoro waga, umwezi kwa septemba, buli mwaka. Tuluba wenza hile, gurubi ya kutamu. We thank you, Abweli. We thank you for the programs in capacity building institutional threaten, uh, strengthening and progress development 
that we are implementing in the region. All these developments are designed to reignite an economy that has been severely hit by the pandemic and respond to the national development agenda of promoting competitiveness, building jobs, and promoting livelihood. I wish to extend similar gratitude to all our partners that have joined the campaign and we value the contribution they have brought to the festival. Kirokinu Tusangire Omo Havakugu Ombio Prambura Ominyoro Amosi Wekesa Nua Tangiri de Gumkam Kandi Atuarekere Evitu Vingi Munu and Yatungo Mugisa, Kubazan Mkama, and the plan is easy, is over there. Ogun to Mesima, have we remember Kura, Mkikakinu, Kukiramuno, or Mkivale National Park? Government and my ministry, in particular, commits to supporting the growth of the industry and working with partners in pursuit of this recovery. I thank all the support and passion for tourism development and as we pray for better times. Let me call upon all in the entire tourism sector, corporate and development partners, the media and people to join His Majesty in making a Kyoto Hampango the best cultural tourism event in the world. Goro vya kutamba. Nituenda kini kibehoga wale mwaka, kuli septemba, empangu itakatumiri. Kibeho, kandi ensi yona, ijege hanu, hagati ya septemba. Tuliba awen zaire. Ensi yona, imaziri kuija, ebege hampangu, hajima ya hakiyotu. And I have no doubt that this is going to happen. I want to thank Ngoza Kusima, Omioka Womhikirwa, Aboli Nyakake, Aboli Moyamani, Yawele Nakora, Kurorangu, Omkoro Gunu, Guaba Guikitinis. Ngoza Kusima, Ogo Mchara Mgezu Wangu Ogo, Minister wa Tourism, Adieri, Kantu, Uwebari kuteka muamani, Mbida mani ya kukazaru wana kwa kukumanyi kutuona weke. Ngoza kusima, can I ask the staff of the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquity, to come here so that I can Senior staff, Commissioner, Commissioner, Oku Director, Director of Business, Uganda Wildlife Authority, Masava. Where is the? Where is Liazi? Oliver Wenzai. Liazi is where. Okay. Ministry Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities. Gorovia Mwebingwa Ogunda Gunda Gutamba Ogende Sumgongo Nkubwato Ngoza Kumalira Nisima Kiki Nina Mkama Uwebali Ijo Kubanaitwe Kan Uwebali Kutunga Kaire Kubanaitwe Na Hali Na Wakamkoro Ahangiriza Kutamba Uwebali Mwebali Gorovia Nzaire Ocho Muno Waitu Ogunda Gunda Gutamba Na Repoto Mbutime Atenyi
atenye ya bagambira ngubuli mwaka mkwezi kwa septemba ya kyoto hampango gura abaga mkoro gura hisiri zagi mpango na weki mkamo waraba chakuli nzire ugwete kanrizi gorovyo nzaidi gorovyo mkumafuzi gorovyo msakazi ya tanaganjura urubazo uruku wangeraho nuruo uruwe kitinisa doktor habuoli beyeza igatu wale vivo mezi ugavimenti ya rukira wa seija kandu waitu habuoli ni uratuara nubujunani zibwa wakusaba kutamba kuhayo eche chateka nize kurugo muntareye Ogunuwe Dr. Beyeza Abuoli Arukora Umulimo Gwevi Gomezi Na kuataniza na Dr. Richard Mugahi Adie Uwekitinisa Agutamba Rukiraba Saijo Mkama Watoro Aki Kibest Yeno Mkama Atenyi, honore otomu butime, minister wa tourism, abuoli UNDP, country representative, uh, all dignitaries protocol observed. Wito abutamba, nyemeriro mbigere vya omuhikirwa, omuhikirwa wawe, atenyi bana tungako, Ya kubayira alhanu, baitu ntusima alhanga ya mutavuiro utandu wabwa accident, mande, wabwa kaba naija umbukama. Motoki ya kachweka Z-Link, ya losing a control, baguru kuharubudu batu mero mutu kwa chweka, baitu barugamba libo meze no mchiarao. Baitu omchiarao no ikena achia ehura kubi, kero kenu wa sivira muiru waru na wakora testi. Na habuweki ya butamba ni kieki ya mwikiruwa atali mwawene gawe, atali mbantavawe. Kandi ya butamba, uh, tuine team, ya kuja kwa wane janja ba bantavawe ni gema, uruwira wa COVID. Kandi wa mwabantu wa mwarumu abatungwa, baitu wa batakumanyurutoro, abakuruga mwusi ya starizimu. Nisa wa butamba nyikirizi ya mbazi murujungu kandi wa mbugufu. Uh, Your Majesty the King, in your 25 year rule, you have proved you are an all round king. The health of your people, the state of the youth, poverty, they are always occupying your mind. About eight years ago, you were appointed UN Goodwill Ambassador to fight HIV AIDS in the sub-Saharan Africa. And you have worked tirelessly, Your Majesty. You have worked in partnership with Uganda AIDS Commission. And very soon, we are signing an MOU to continue to fight the scourge, not only in Toro, but in the rest of the country. Uh, at the Silver Jubilee, you announced your 25 development plan for your kingdom. And your majesty, we are happy you are already implementing. I can't go in the details of the development plan, but the hallmark is to fight poverty, promote health of your people, and job creation, which we can see today. Uh, your majesty, today, you are launching the mass COVID-19 vaccination drive in your kingdom. But the whole week, announcements have been going through. Drive-throughs have been happening in the major towns, Port Porto City, Chenjejo, and other towns. And as you have been informed, 400 people today received their, their first jab. And 50 people received the second job at Muchua Health Center 3. Your Majesty, you have been achieving all this 
because you extend a hand of friendship and cooperation, especially with the government. Matenyi, Minister of Tourism, representing the government, we Toro Kingdom, we believe in working with the government. We believe in the philosophy of when two hands wash each other, they are cleaner than when only one hand washes itself. So, Honorable Minister, we are grateful for cooperation with the central government. We are grateful central government has provided the vaccines and we, are, we have learned from His Excellency there are millions of vaccines in this country and we don't want them to expire when they are not in the body of Ugandans and yet Ugandans can get COVID and die. Your Majesty, we remember sadly the loss of your indefatigable Minister of Lands, Achali Polekateva, in our hearts we mourn him and we dedicate this vaccination drive to him that no any other people should die of COVID because the vaccines are here. Your, Excellen uh, Your Majesty, about two months ago, we had a meeting at the palace with Minister of Health, uh, Permanent Secretary, and the Director General. Uh, we realized that Muchwa Harris Center 3 which is within uh, the precincts of the Kingdom Administration Muchwa, it will not stay here long. And Your Majesty, the Minister of Health asked you to provide an alternative place to relocate this Health Center 3. And Your Majesty, it's my honor to remind you that the uh, late Minister of Lands had identified some place and the new Minister of Land can follow on from that. And this is our culture of collaboration so that this Health Centre 3 will be shifted to near Muchua to serve our people. And we look forward to being promoted to Health Centre 4, General Hospital, and on and on and on. Your Majesty, uh, because of time, I don't want to speak too long. And most important, uh, we requ uh, we're uh, uh, request you to launch the mass vaccination campaign of COVID-19 in your kingdom, and also hand over the 30 oxygen cylinders which were given to us by MTN to all the masaza, the eight masaza which make your kingdom. And the DHOs have been here participating in the vaccination drive and also waiting to receive those cylinders. Your Majesty, it's my single honor to invite you to speak to your people. Hangir za bitam. Gorobi za mwebingo. Hangir za gorobi mwebingo. Gorobi msakazi atanaganjura. Gorobi ya wamara. Ah, ba wenzai to Dr. Beyeza. Uh, Harubengo Culture School Mumpeheri that came with one performance in Gide Kinache King of Wangu Nuko. Talent Africa, the main microphone. Tuliba wenzaire. Gorobia wamara. Gorobia msakazi atanaganjura. 
Lubawa Tam. A Royal Highness, the Queen Mother of Toro. Honorable Minister of Tourism, UNDP Resident Representative, Honorable Members of Parliament, Deputy Prime Minister of Toro Kingdom, the RCC, Fort Porto City, Religious Leaders Present, Honorable Ministers from Toro Kingdom, Fort Porto City Leadership, our partners who are training the youth in the ongoing business clinics, the representatives of all companies exhibiting here today, the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome all our visitors to Toro Kingdom, and I welcome you all to Ekiot Hampango. Today we are sitting at a fireplace. In Rutoro, we call it Ekioto. This was our way of life a few generations ago. In the past, people sat around a Kyoto and shared about the day's challenges or successes, told stories, consulted, and discussed matters of key importance. Around a Kyoto, children were nurtured, young adults were groomed, and those who aspired for leadership were guided. This is a very important area where people would openly discuss issues and make decisions on matters arising in their communities. It is a place where parents told their children about their grandparents, about past leaders, about good practices, even reading Bible stories. We are trying to revive this concept and let people know that they can move a boardroom meeting to around a Kyoto, like we are here today. This way, our traditional practices do not completely phase out. I am sure tour operators can start selling events around a Kyoto. There is no reason why an American or Chinese or Ugandan corporate company cannot buy a package of tutor for their annual retreat and hold it while sitting around the Kyoto and happily plan for the year ahead. I urge people to set up more Evioto in their communities and homes. We should not let this practice die. We have widened the concept of a Kyoto to include learning and skilling opportunities this year, especially for our youth who have been hit hard by the effects of the pandemic. We have also included sports activities, which are good for the body, and many other tourism promotion and cultural conservation activities. As you all know, tourism and culture are top priorities in the Kingdom's vision of 2024. I thank all partners, UNDP, Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, the Tourism Board and Wildlife Authority, Talent Africa, Microfinance Support Center, BRAC Uganda, and many others for your immense support. We look forward to your continued support for a Kyoto Hampango in the coming years. I would like to particularly thank UNDP for partnering with Toro Kingdom in implementing different initiatives that will transform the livelihoods of our youth. I'm particularly happy with the Rolex initiatives, which will financially empower our youth through providing a daily income. On matters of health, in order for Toro Kingdom to achieve her vision of 2045, and Uganda to achieve her vision of 2040, of a transformed Ugandan society from peasant to a modern and prosperous country, health of Ugandans is of paramount and importance. Uganda, like the rest of the world, is battling the COVID-19 pandemic, which has distorted our livelihoods. We therefore must join hands to end this pandemic. As the King of Toro, I call upon all the people of Toro above 18 years of age to go to the nearest health unit and get vaccinated against this deadly COVID-19 virus. 
Today, I will give out oxygen cylinders to our health units to help in this cause. I now wish you all an enjoyable evening, uh, uh, evening around a Kyoto. I thank you all. God bless you. Gorovio Mwevingwa. Gorovio Msakazi Atanaganjura. Gorovio Wamara. Gorovio Atoli Nyuena. Gorovio Mwevingwa. Omkoro Gurukura Taho. Nukuo launch ya Rolex project. Eya wa UNDP. Baya Nukuira Gutamba. Kururangu. Aba Sigazi Nsinganto. Ni wagira Entashia. Eya Bulikiro. Aba Nyakuriyaho ni Nsaba. Mutuheho Omwanya. Mugaruke hamuti ogwa harubaji kulio inyue na ninkimanya ni mwetage chokuli ya kiri yaho wa hitu katumanze tuliinde hukake. Tuireo harubaji wao. Abato bata abo bakwate mpora mpora bagendeo harubaji. Na inyo haba nyakuli hatenti ni imba saba. Security saidi yapa. Get those guys a little bit. Gorovi ya nzairi. Gorovi ya muwevi yungwa. Haba nyakuwe merira hatenti ni imba saba muwe huguleho. Gorovi ya kutambu. Yeah, I want that place cleared. Kabisa. Abato bata abo mbateke harubaji. Na banyakuli ya nyuma ya tenti ya hon pove hukuleo kata ito. Tuliba wenza hile. Narukira basaija oyo nyimbaro hanga kulinde mazima Ok Harubembo Culture School Muhumule Ya haruhu mkoro Gwomkama haruhu kujia kukura kandio guavu wangu Obwide wona wetu tuija kuchekecha achioto Hampango Ha excellence Aboli Atafa Honorable Tom Butime Minister of Tourism Mjuera, the Queen Mother, Beske Mgisa Kiki, uh, and the team from UND and from the Ministry, and of course, Wiktini Sajoan, Kantu, Hamu, Right Honorable First Deputy Prime Minister, Mutamba Nagenda, Kutandika, Project Yege, Rolex, Omutongoli, Kogamba, this is the time. Goro Kenzeiri. Goroka Gutamba, RDC and the RCC, please, you can join. Akuba Babasigazi, Baliomu District, Kandu Baliomu City. Honorable Wiktinisa, Waba Youth, take charge. Obugaro Wakiki Nyinomkama. Obugaro Wakiki Nyinomkama. Katuzare Manzi Akiki. Okay, Munyikiri Zenkwase, Omo have our representatives, Akazindaro. Mic check. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty, UNDP has, partn has partnered with the Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities to support small business owners that are involved in promotion of culinary tourism with in Renzori region with a focus on the youth. Through this partnership, 
the Uganda Hotel and Tourism Training Institute, based in Jinja, is a government institution which is going to carry out training of these youths. This training is sponsored by the UNDP, and we are going to train them to enhance their skills, culinary skills in the preparation of the food that they prepare on the street, including Rolex, those who roast chicken, those who roast meat. We are going to enhance their culinary skills. We're also going to provide them with business knowledge or enhance their business knowledge and skills and improve their competitiveness to ensure that their businesses are, are profitable. We're also going to equip them with skills in hygiene and food safety. So the food that they prepare and serve is safe for the visitors and the customers that they serve. We're also going to encourage them to transition from use of charcoal to green, uh, to green power. That is to transit from using charcoal to using gas so that they preserve the environment and also their cooking is cleaner and the environment is more hygienic. We're also going to equip them with financial literacy skills to manage their businesses. We intend to train 500 youths in the nine districts of Toro. And at the end of this training, we expect that the best two in each region is going to receive this cut so that they can be able to do their businesses, not limited to space. They can be able to move and prepare their food hygienically and serve their, their, their customers. Thank you, Excellency. Abutamba, Ningonza Kusima, Mabonegawe, Ava UNDP, Ava Kurorangu, Nibongera Quatera in Singanto Zawe, Kandi Krugira Rubimbi, Uruachwe, Kurorangu Nistunga, Obuginga, Uwokwe Vaisahu, Nokteka Kasente, Omunsao Zawe. Abutamba Nyonyenda Kusaba, Kurava Ministry in Singanto, Galmazimangu, and Singanto Novobengi Muno, Kandavatirwe, Ivorali Mirim. Kat Zinuziri, Ikuminam Nana so far, Beit Nyenda Kusava, Kurabom Liwe, UNDP, and our partners Avandi, Mukat Zinu the Yongeris Venyingi, Twina Amasa, Kanye Singante Zirum Yingi Munu, Bunutu Sok to Mana, Kanyon in Jakuba and Segezo Mulumuingi, Avokubavona, Hatur by Yakuiza, Koguna, and to go over to Kandava to Manisangu again of training Avant of Queen. Kimanisangu Aga Ubuntu Wingi, Nyuanira, Kurangu, Tuatu, Kan Tuakwata, Singanto Nyingi, Okurava, Ombukama won. Single moving. Gorovio Mwevingwa, Gorovio Amar, Gorovio Mukuman Fuz. Okay. Ah. Uh. Kamalum Kutand Saho Rolex project in Butongoli. Tuliba Wen Zaidi. Oh Tioni Ndora Mwebe Mbeziwa UNDP. Tamba. Ndoro Mwebe Mbeziwa UNDP. Ujora Nino Mukama. Uh, Honorable Tom Butime. Atenyi. Nabo Abarkuleka UNDP Omulimo Ogwekozere. Aboli will announce this in the local language. We have a word. We have a word. We have a word. Gorobian Zaire. Gorobio Mwebingwa. Abdambo Barkurghan again the oxygen cylinder. Uh, launching of the oxygen cylinders. Abdamba Chai. Gorobio Amara. Agutamba Chal Harolex. If you miss this snap, you never take a peek. I am telling you, Agutamba Harolex direct Hachikarango Chia Rolex. Eh, Nasavo Musigazi Amoleke, the skill, the expertise.
Eh msigazi wa Kazaru ana kwezi na yoga. Tambe ine kaguza kaguiza wasigazi Nosowora kuchumba Rolex zinga Hamu kirukimu wakatale Uka mugusu buka kuba kasemi Nosowora kuchumba Rolex zinga Hakatale kabu wachapira Haka ukuli kaba kaka Haka kia kaguza Eee Tamba agenda Barkurugaho na agenda To launch the oxygen cylinders Ningira wakuru nyuena Sendekereza kutamba na agenda Ha launch of the oxygen cylinders Gorovyo muevi ingwa Gorovyo wamara
akutamba mazire kukaba oxygen cylinders akwa marwa rogona kumbukama kwa toro ah arwengo mupehe dakika arwengo please And Aptama and Traba UNDP by now Mukorum Taito towards the UNDP stall. And I hold you are in charge. I excellency. I hold your tapa is in charge. A microphone in Gijo, Yoguarukira. There's a microphone coming on there for some. Arvengo ni basaba muemezeho. There's a lot of noise. Your Majesty, we are very delighted to host you here at this table. Chargeco is one of the beneficiaries of the Youth for Business initiative. And basically what they are presenting is a solution. It's an energy solution that is going to be part of a package of uh, instruments that are going to make it easy to access energy on the move as you go through the experience in uh, in the tourism particularly in remote remote areas i think we'll give charge co an opportunity to explain very briefly what this is all about thank you so much uh we're glad to unveil these uh, solutions that we've been building for quite a long time uh so we realize that there's an energy problem uh in the tourism industry and a lot of people want to travel and take photos and carry a lot of devices with them, like cameras, drones, and other battery power devices. So we're providing a range of uh, convenient charging solutions for people on the move, particularly in the tourism industry, but also with application in uh, other fields. Most of the, all of these solutions have been uh, designed locally, and we've managed to manufacture, even with the small capacity we have, we've managed to manufacture some of them locally, the plan is to manufacture all of them locally, uh, and we intend to empower at least uh, 500 youth in the manufacturing stage. We've managed to empower both directly and indirectly more than 100 youth uh, in the design process of these, of these uh, solutions, and uh, we would really be glad to you know, have you launch uh, these products with us, and also for the Toro Kingdom to support us as these products go into some of the tourism locations. For example, these will be deployed on the Renzori mountain, and uh, these will be used by tourists going up the mountain. The solar backpacks will also be uh, used for the same, and the car seat organizer will also be used for the same uh, purpose. Uh, we would also uh, kindly like to request that we give this bag a name, uh, because we cannot live without, uh, without giving it a pet name. We believe it's a product that's going to make uh, the tourism experience in, <laughs> in, in Renzori amazing. And I think with a name uh, officially uh, given to the bag, uh, it, will, it will be able to you know, speak to the, to, to the spirit of innovation that uh, 
Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. So we would like to introduce Atoki. Uh, we again salute you, Avoli, High Excellency Atafa, for the job well done. Tuxima Muno, Honorable Tom Butima Tenyi, Ego, Ekerale Chiawe Hichon Kichiaranga. Hati, Tuamara, are you NDP? Nibasaba clear that, gentlemen. Agutamba, Yagenda, Hachioto, Echim Pango. Honorable Kantu, Wektinisa Deputy Muhigirwa, Ninsaba Muhugule, Agutamba Hikire, Kyoto Hampang, and Zamani. Can I have my microphone, please? Gorob Yenzaire, Gorob Yawamara, Agutamba Mazire Kuka, Hakyoto. Uh, can I have my microphone, please? Yo Choto, as you requested us to coin an idea that will leave a life mark for the first Inajiro Choto experience. This is the first Choto we are having, and we are going to be blessed to have the, he, the king himself uh, launch it. Uh, uh, and I would, would like to ask his personal assistant to do the, the procedure to allow So this chota, your highness, is made out of uh, briquettes, and briquettes are made out of uh, our day-to-day -day resources, the resources around our homes. The, can I request everybody to clap as we witness the lighting of the chota by his highness. The advantage to this chota is that we don't need to have a, a smoke come out of it. And our plan in future, Your, uh, Your Highness, is to have a, a small home theater around it that would demonstrate the typical Kyoto in the African setting using more local resources. We have only included the tiles for the beauty about it, but all the resources that have made this Kyoto are locally sourced. And by next year, we pledge that we'll have a better Kyoto with a shelter just in case it rains, and a mini theater brings some bit of modernity to our own uh, culture and establishment. We, we, we can roast. It can be the family gathering where we have maize, meat, uh, cassava, everything that the family would want to share. And it brings back all the traditional values of sharing, storytelling, and security because the light it gives keeps us safe around it. We are so honored. We bring you all the greetings from Deja University and all the six dioceses of Buganda that is a consortium that created in Deja University. Thank you so much, Your Highness. Thank you so much, uh, 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 and Your Majesty. And thank you so much, Mama, for honoring us to be part of this expo. Thank you. Like, like we pledged before, we are creating this replica in your own palace, if you give us permission to do so. Thank you very much. And also, Ndeja University is offering to build four cooking uh, stoves of energy saving 
to the schools that are very dear to the heart of the kingdom. We will wait for the communication and instruction where to put that. Allow me to present to you the new parking of the new bricket um, charcoal that is made out of local resources. It is something that our ordinary people can do and learn to sell charcoal in a more decent way. This can be sold in supermarkets by ordinary people and our communities can utilize it. Thank you very much. We have trained, like I mentioned before, 22 soldiers who are going to carry this message to the community. We are leaving behind certificates of recognition for those who have been trained so that the kingdom can utilize them further to further the message of bricket making and saving the environment. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, Gorovia mkuma mfuzi. Gorovia kasura banyunya. See in the blue sky, I see in the green Ebakoya when you are 